How to stop swearing. The stream has to be eased off gradually, that's how. I don't care about it. I don't swear. No, I don't do it often. Sometimes in my mind I snap because of an old habit, but I don't like these things. I remember being in some area, and there's a village, something like a village. Kids are running around, kicking something and swearing under the window. They're swearing loudly all over the village. Kitties. And I'm such a moralist, you know, an intellectual. I don't like to hear it. It bugs me, you know. Look at all these kids, I start to criticize in my mind. And then a minute later, I start to realize that they don't know what they're saying. They're just imitating adults. And it stopped affecting me. Most Russian swear words, they're just made to express something emotionally. They're not meant to be understood literally. If you take it literally, you know, it's a hard case. Actually, even in ancient sacred books, it is described that a man and a woman are the embodiment of genitals. It seems incorrect from the common point of view to evaluate a person in such a way, but it is a philosophical truth. It should be treated scientifically. As long as you swear, do it scientifically. But there are other words. There are other words. For example, the word prostitute is a common word, and it is not derogatory, not always derogatory. No. I have read Vedic literature. These women have always been there and they are needed by society, it is said, as a certain class. They are never taken as wives. Why are they needed? To regulate lustful men. If a lusty man wants to have sex illegally, outside his marriage, he will seduce honest women. To prevent that, there is a prostitute. Even such a thing exists in civilized society, you see, and they are treated with respect but they are not taken as wives, but they are never humiliated, never insulted. It's fate that someone becomes a prostitute, so what? Yes, even in this case, there is a certain culture of elevation. In the 11th canto of Bhagavatam, it is described how one prostitute became a great saint, and there is more than one case. It is typical for them. They can become great saints, these people, when they attain renunciation consciousness. I'm not going to advertise this way of life, okay? I'm just making a point. So these swear words also mean that the person is not very well educated, not very good in controlling his tongue. The subtle tissues of the brain are not yet awakened. Because actually, if you want to say something with force, it is not the swear word that is needed here, not swearing. Because swearing is a harbinger of death. Angry words are a harbinger of death, a sign, yes, a precondition, and you need peaceful words. Then it will penetrate. It is necessary to speak the truth with deep respect for the person. Thus, it will have an effect. Swear word is just a deterrent. Sometimes those words are insulting and humiliating. Nevertheless, we know that the Russian person is inclined to it. 